made me feel a little bit down about myself. How much would that have cost me if I'd have got that done professionally? I'm about to whiten my teeth. Very gross, but also kind of satisfying. The most embarrassing photo of me ever. Let's do a mini haul. They're obviously really nice and stretchy. One, two, three. Are you okay? Are you balanced? <laughs> I've got you balanced on a very slim box right now. So if you're a little bit wibbly wobbly, I apologise. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. The theme of this week's video is glowing up on the outside and the inside. But first of all, I'm starting the week in my office. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know I recently moved it around and I've got my desk facing out the window now. And it's so nice to sit here and work and watch the cars, watch people walking their dogs. It makes me feel less isolated that I'm not just like in my bedroom at the back of the house and I'm actually in my office getting stuff done. In my last vlog, I was sorting out all of the new stock for Sunnyside, it's all up here now. These are all the harnesses for the big dogs, so all of these are in size large and extra large. Anywho, I'm rambling already and I've only been filmed for two minutes. Like I said, the theme of this week's video is a glow up. At the end of last week's vlog, I said that I got stuck in a rabbit hole of watching my own TikTok videos from a couple of years ago now from like early 2020 and it made me feel a little bit down about myself not gonna lie I just feel like I looked a lot better back then I was more confident in myself I hadn't really realized the effect that lockdown has had on me and my confidence until I watched those videos and I was like oh that feels like a different person. So this week I want to get back to that. I at least want to do the little things that will hopefully make me feel a little bit better about myself. I thought I'd bring you guys along on the journey. So yeah, that's the plan for this week. I've also got the new collection launching this week with Sunnyside. So it's going to be a busy one. That's happening on Friday. It's currently Tuesday. I still need to put all of the items on the website. Some may say I need to get a little bit of a move on. Look at this though, guys. Before I get a move on, I recently got a new Mac and I've uploaded all of my photos onto iCloud. It feels so much better that I've got them all secure. This is going to sound really vain, but I've got an album of photos just of me, of like my childhood, my teenage years, old selfies, because I just know that one day I'm going to look back and laugh at them so much. But look at baby Han, how cute. Why am I literally smiling? Did anyone else have photos taken like this when they were in preschool? Or is it just mine? I feel like it's a bit weird. Why do they dress us up so vintage? Like my future kids are going to look at this photo one day and think, oh my god, my mum is so old. Absolutely sass pants see like what is this these selfies i don't know how old i was they were probably like 13 why but i'm glad that i've kept them because it's funny to look back at my secondary school photos this one was year seven and this one was year 11 <laughs> another little victorian child this is the first ever photo of me to ever exist of me and my mum fresh out the womb I look so young. This isn't the hand that I want to get back to, by the way. This is definitely prehistoric hand. Oh my God, the ice bucket challenge. Remember this. <laughs> Why did we all do that? Why do photos like this exist? Why did I take these? What was the point? I'm going to show you one more photo. This is the most embarrassing photo of me ever, but it's hilarious. So this was only in 2019 as well. Not even that long ago, it was in May. And I went on holiday with my family to Egypt and we went on this like boat trip for a day and there was a photographer on board God knows the reason. And he picked on me all day and was making me do all these bizarre poses. Proper touristy, but I felt way too awkward to say no, so I just went along with it. And I'm actually glad I did because the photos are hilarious. What on earth is that? Oh my God, it's the angle. It's just, oh, everything about it is awful. <laughs> It's just so funny. It's so awkward. You can see that I felt so awkward taking these photos. Wow, she's so Pinterest. You know what makes that? The sunburn. I'm not gonna lie. I have used this little pamper video as a bit of an excuse to do some online shopping. I've bought a couple of new clothing items. I bought some yoga pants. Do I do yoga? No. Did I see them on TikTok and they looked fab? Yes, I did. They're arriving tomorrow, so I've got a couple of new, like, little staples for my wardrobe just to make me feel good. And I've just had another little delivery. I got a few bits from Glossier, a couple of little skincare bits, but mostly some makeup bits. I got some stuff for my eyebrows. I got a new blush. I feel like my makeup's not sitting on my face well at the minute, which is why I wanted to get some new old makeup. It's makeup I used to use and I'd run out of. And then I switched to other products, but I just haven't liked them quite as much. Anyway, I'm rambling. What I'm saying is, 
did a little bit of online shopping. I'm going to save this for tomorrow because I've already done my makeup today. But something that's so important to me when I'm online shopping is keeping my bank information safe. You guys have probably heard me talk about them before, but this little section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark are a VPN. They're a little browser extension. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what a VPN is, let me educate you my friends. So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Surfshark is essentially a little underground tunnel to the internet. The way I imagine it is the internet is London little bit big and scary. A VPN is the tube. Goes underneath, runs smoothly, keeps you safe, gets you from A to B. A little tube of security, if you will. Apologies, Sunny wanted to join. She wants a little cuddle. But the way that it works is when you download Surfshark as a browser extension, you can select different locations and you'll be given a new IP address, meaning that your actual IP address stays hidden. If a hacker tried to access your bank information or your card details, for example, they'd be thrown off by your new IP address. They wouldn't be able to find where you actually actually are, who you actually are. My go-to locations that I tend to use are Manchester or Miami. Manchester because I can access the same internet as usual or Miami if I want to access the internet as if I'm in America. If you do any online shopping at all I would highly recommend downloading Surfshark. I personally wouldn't be without a VPN now. So if you're interested I'll leave a link to Surfshark in the description down below and if you use the code FABULOUS get this you can get 83% off and an extra three months free. It works out to such a bargain, literally less than a few pounds a month, and it could save you a whole lot of money in the long run when those hackers can't get into your bank account. Say, so stay safe online, everyone. Sunny loves Surfshark, and she's never wrong. Apart from when you think there's cats in the garden, then there's not. Let's get this pamper party started. I'm very excited. So today, as you can see, no makeup. And I have tanned, it's kind of coming off my face now, but I tanned on Saturday. It's now Wednesday, so it's not its best, but it's okay. I also redid my nails on Saturday, just went for a classic black. I've made a list of everything that I want to do. I'm going to start off at this moment in time with some pore strips, and then I'm going to dye my eyebrows, and I'm also going to dye my eyelashes. Just wet my little flannel. I'm going to wet my nose first of all. I'm actually going to wax my eyebrows today. I bought this on Amazon ages ago. It's like a little wax, what is it? wax heater thing. I don't use it that often. There we go, she's plugged in, heating up nicely. I tried to use it to wax my legs once, never again. I literally only use this for my eyebrows now. In case you're thinking, Han, why are you dyeing your eyebrows? Didn't you have them microbladed? Yes, I did have them microbladed. They are a lot better, here's a little close up. They look a lot better than they would if I didn't have them microbladed. Like there is still a bit of shape there. I've got some blonde hairs underneath here that I'm gonna wax. But I feel like the microbladed has faded quite quickly on me. So I'm just gonna give them a little refresh today. One, two, three. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm zooming you in so you can see what I'm doing with my brows. Brush them through. Get a little cotton bud. The wax is hot now, so she's ready. I sincerely apologise if you do brows for a living and this is making you cringe. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to show you a close-up of the wax, so if you think this is gross, look away for the next five seconds. There they are. All my little brow hairs. <laughs> They're so blonde. It feels lovely and smooth underneath. Fun fact, it's actually not that fun. I once um, put a little bit of this on a cotton bud and whacked my nostril and I pulled out the cotton bud and the stick came out but the ball of wax didn't. <laughs> the whole fluffy bit of the cotton bud was stuck up my nose. I panicked so much. One, two, three. Next step is the eyebrow dye. I don't think you're supposed to do this after a fresh wax, but I like to live on the edge. I haven't done this for ages, but I've been using this exact dye for years now. I really like it. It's just from Boots. I think it's about eight pounds. First things first, you have to put Vaseline all around your eyebrows so that it doesn't dye your skin. Bit of Vaseline on a cotton bud. Careful not to get it on your eyebrow. Then about one centimeter of the color cream goes into the mixing dish and about one centimetre of the activating cream. Mix them together and whack it on your brows. I'm gonna give it like five to 10 minutes to do its thing. Meanwhile, I'm gonna Vaseline the other eyebrow and repeat the process.
left brow has had her time. So I've literally just got some wet cotton pads and I'm wiping it all off. See, how much would that have cost me if I'd got that done professionally? Would it look better? Potentially. But saving my pennies till the day I die. I'm officially ticking brows off the checklist. Job done. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me smile Good morning everyone! Someone please tell me why I've had this office for literally years and I've only just realised that the lighting in this room is so much better to do my makeup in the morning than it is in my bedroom. My bedroom's at the back of the house and that's where the sun like rises so it's always too sunny in there. In here it's a nice consistent light. Anyway, got me goodies that arrived from Glossier and I haven't shown you yet. So the first thing I got is this. Glossier solution. I love this. I haven't used it for ages, but I know when I did use it, it really made my skin glow. It takes a few days for your skin to get used to it. I think when I first used it, I did break out a little bit for like the first few days, which is totally normal because it's like a chemical product. Then I'm going to moisturise. I've been really enjoying this moisturiser lately. This is from Bliss. It is this one. I hadn't heard of it before, but it literally feels so hydrating on your skin. I'm also testing out the brand Skin and Me at the minute. I am loving it so far. I'll give you guys a full review once I've been using it for a little bit longer, but that's in the evening. But yeah, I love the website. I love that it's like prescribed and I get really excited about new skincare products and then another repurchase from Glossier is the future juice serum usually I'd put a serum on before moisturizer but this one you put on at the end of your skincare routine because it gives such a nice glow I am convinced this is the product that made me glow back in 2020 or whenever it was or the summer when I was using this product I feel like my skin was at its peak Oh, I've missed it. I've missed the smell and everything. I'm trying to get back into using my gua sha. At least that's how I think you pronounce it. I got mine on Etsy. It's a rose quartz one. And you literally use this to give yourself a jawline. Use it down your neck to drain your... I think they're your lymph nodes. But when you do this... If you swallow, you can literally feel it going down your throat. Very gross, but also kind of satisfying. makeup time i'm not going to do like a fully in-depth tutorial type thing concealer collection lasting perfection bronzer from charlotte tilbury this is the airbrush bronzer blush is a new one from glossier this is the cloud paint i haven't actually used this shade before this is the shade puff I can't remember the shade I used, but the one I had before was a bit more orangey. This one is a little pink. I really want to get that Charlotte Tilbury liquid bronzer that's always sold out. I think it's called the Beauty Wand or something. Really want to use that because I feel like it's the bronzer, potentially, that's not sitting on my face that well. I don't know though, I feel like it looks okay today. A little bit of Laura Mercier powder under my eyes. as I'm letting that set. My eyebrows don't really need a lot anymore after the little dye, which is fab. But I did buy a couple of brow products from Glossier. I got the ultimate combo, brow flick and boy brow. If you know, you know. If you don't know, get to know. This is brow flick. It's like a little felt pen, but it's got little tiny bristles. I use the shade blonde. And then, Boy brow. This is like a brow gel. Again, I use the shade blonde and I use this mostly at the ends of my brows just to fill them out a bit more. I think you'd like Glossier brow products if you like natural looking brows. Then gonna do a little bit of under brow highlight with the wet and wild, what is this called? Ultimate brow. Now I'll come back and brush off the excess powder. This is just what I do every day, by the way, for like my everyday makeup. Nothing special. I've got this routine down to about 15 minutes. This is the Milk and Cookies highlight from Ofra. Bit on the end of my nose, bit on my upper lip, on my brow bone, my freshly waxed brow bone, and a little bit on my cheekbones. 
bit of setting spray from Benefit. And the last step, I'm not going to do eyeliner today, I can't be bothered. But at the minute I'm using this mascara from Ciate London. It's the Wonder Wand Mascara. I actually really like it. There we have it. Skincare and makeup for the morning complete. I would usually put lip balm on as well, but I'm literally going to go and eat my lunch. Because it's actually 20 past 1 right now. <laughs> I've well and truly had a working from my bed kind of morning. I have no regrets, it's been lovely. Now I've got to be honest, lunchtime is my downfall for my diet. Breakfast I always have something quick, never too unhealthy. At the moment it's a toasted bagel and a glass of pineapple juice, absolutely delish. Dinner, a lot of the time my mum cooks or I cook a Hello Fresh meal which is nice and healthy. But lunchtime, I just can't be bothered so I'll grab like a ham and cheese sandwich and a packet of crisps. But the best lazy girl lunch that's actually not bad for you is carrots and hummus. Sunny, why are you scratching your bum on the carpet? <laughs> that is not very appetising, my love. Carrots and hummus, little bit of Nando's peri-peri drizzle, and these are some little smoky poured pork rolls. I'll eat probably half this pot of hummus with these carrots. You've got to get a lot on each one. Go hard or go home. Little bit of dip. Oh, lovely. I've booked a hair appointment, guys. I don't often have my hair up in a bun like this anymore because it's really damaging for your hair. Um, I much prefer to have it in a claw clip now, but having it in this hairstyle really has made me realise how badly my hair actually needs doing. Look at the roots. So that's at the beginning of March. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to go back like white blonde. This week's been really busy with work. It's actually Friday today and I have a sunny side launch this evening. There's so much preparation that goes into a launch, like I've really underestimated it before I started doing this there's photos you've got to add everything to the website so about pricing make sure you've got enough packaging and stuff like there's just so much to think about but i think i'm all done now i think it's all ready i finalized the website this morning so i've got a little bit more me time i feel like this video might look like this is all i've done this week when in reality this has been a really handy video to film this week because i've been able to do it in between my very heavy workload i'm about to whiten my teeth this is another thing on my list i haven't whitened them for a while but every now and again Again, I like to use a little crest strip. I wouldn't actually wholeheartedly recommend these because I think they're really bad for your teeth. I'm sure I saw that online somewhere. They're quite hard to get hold of, these ones, probably because they're bad for your teeth. But they're the Crest 3D White White Strips, the Lux Professional Effects ones. They might be damaging, but they are so good. They really make a difference to your teeth, like, instantly. So I'm going to whack this on, leave it on for half an hour. See you in 30 minutes. Rock and roll. <laughs> so this is the before and after. Can you see a difference? I feel like I can. I always feel like they look whiter, but I don't know if it's psychological. Anyway, I've had a few bits arrive today. Some little pieces from my wardrobe. I told you at the beginning that I'd ordered some staples. Well, they've now arrived. The first thing actually being a makeup bag, which is random, I know, but this is from H&M. I wanted something that had two compartments, one for brushes and one for makeup, and this is perfect. It's like exactly what I was looking for, it's about 12 pounds. I use my makeup bags until they are on their last thread, so this will be with me for years. On to a few bits that I've got for my wardrobe this week. Let's do a mini haul. Let's go over to the bed for a change of scenery. Don't say I don't think of your viewing pleasure. I've only got four items to show you but four's better than nothing. We're not doing big spend ups, big shopping hauls anymore. That's not a bit of me. We're doing spot something that I know I'm gonna wear a lot for a long time. Whack it in my basket. Conscious shopping, you know? So first thing, I saw these on TikTok a good few weeks ago now and I just couldn't stop thinking about them. They're from Gilly Hicks. So they're actually yoga pants. I never plan on doing yoga, but they're basically flares that are a really nice material. I'll put them on to show you, but I'm really happy with them. Flared trouser, big jumpers like this outfit done these are the yoga pants i got them in a size small they're obviously really nice and stretchy they're nice and long they're just really comfortable i think in the spring with a little crop top and like a flannel shirt fab they also do them in black but they're always sold out so i went for the brown but i wear a lot of neutrals anyway so i wasn't mad about that but if they do come back in stock in the black i definitely will be getting them because i love the shape of these also got a new pair of leggings so these are from pause and pause boutique they also sell dog harnesses dog accessories you name it and they recently bought out these dog walking leggings before they launched i saw such good things about them i saw their brand reps had them on they said they were squat proof they weren't see-through they've got a pocket on either side of the leggings which was absolutely the selling point for me they are actually sold out on the paulson website at the moment but sophie said they're going to be getting some more in like six to eight weeks so if you're after a good pair of trusty black leggings keep your eye out on the paulson paul 
Wars Boutique Instagram page for when they restock because I handle my heart would recommend these until the day I die. We'll probably buy another pair as a backup. The fact they have pockets, it just fills my heart with joy. And you know what? I like these leggings as much as I like my ones from lounge. And that's saying something because I've never been able to find a pair of leggings I like as much as the lounge ones. These ones I like as much, if not more than the lounge. They feel a very similar material with the pockets on the side for your phone absolutely game changing and the final place i've got a couple of bits from is h&m so the first is actually a pair of jeans i haven't tried these on yet so i don't know how i'm gonna feel about them again saw them on tiktok i basically just buy my entire wardrobe everything in my life now from tiktok but they're brown high-waisted wide leg jeans similar to the flares actually but like obviously a jean material so this is what the jeans look like i was actually really happy with them until my mum said like they look a bit short and now I'm not sure. Please, can you guys let me know? Are they too short or not? I think they'll look better with a little crop top rather than a jumper like this. They fit really nicely. I got them in a size 10. I don't think they're too short. Are they too short? I don't know. Please help, guys. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. I think they're quite cute, though. They're really comfy for a pair of jeans as well. And to go with them, I saw this little top and I thought this would look lovely. It's just a little strappy cami top. It kind of, like, gives me corset vibes, but it's obviously not a corset. It's ribbed it's ivory the back of it looks like this it was quite expensive i'm not gonna lie it was i think 19.99 but if it fits me well i'm gonna wear it all the time so yeah that's everything that i bought recently so my loves that brings us to the end of this video the only thing i didn't get around to doing is my eyelash tint but i'll do that early next week or something it's fine i've worn mascara every day this week anyway but i want to say a big thank you to surfshark again for very kindly sponsoring at this vlog don't forget if you use the code fabulous that you can get 83 percent off and three months extra free there's a link down below in the description for you there is a possibility that there won't be a video next sunday purely depends how this launch goes in the next 20 minutes if it's really busy i'm gonna be packing like buddy the elf next week but that might be fun to film too so i'll see i just don't want to put too much pressure on myself have a lovely week and i'll see you again very soon with another little video bye guys love ya